Good evening, Nashville, Middle Tennessee, Southern Kentucky, those of you as far west as Jackson, those of you as far east as McMinnville. Welcome to Pharmacist on Call with your host, Dr. Sean Pruitt. And if you're watching this show, I am your community pharmacist. Everyone, welcome to the April edition of Pharmacist on Call. This is your one-hour forum where you get to ask all those burning questions that you've been wanting to ask your doctors and your pharmacists, but they have not had the time for you. That's why I'm here. They're busy, but for this time, for this one hour, I got time for you. So call in with your questions and your comments. You see that the producer has flashed the phone number for you to call in. Rule number one, there are no silly questions. Uh, so probably that, that question that you were thinking is probably silly or mundane. Chances are someone else is thinking the same thing and has history has proven uh, the silly question you think is silly. Someone else needed it answered. Uh, so I want to welcome you to season nine, show one. Uh, we're beginning our ninth season here. Uh, so I want to thank you all for participating in the show uh, for this length of time. You all have made it a success with the questions that you call in with and certainly some of the input and the support that you've had for the show. All right, so as we usually do, it uh, looks like we don't have any... Uh Actually, we do have a, a condolence uh, to the family of Benita Coleman uh, and, uh, and to my pharmacy school classmate, uh, Melody Mitchell-Webb, who passed away last week. Uh, so we want to uh, send our condolences, thoughts, and prayers to her family. Uh, we uh, went to the University of Tennessee College of Pharmacy, uh, class of 2000, and it uh, looks like she passed away suddenly. Uh, so a big shout out to her family and uh, condolences. Uh, it looks like we got a birthday here, uh, Miss Crystalline Hall-Reed. I uh, just want to say happy birthday to her, friend of the pharmacy, and wanted to say happy 33rd anniversary to my line brothers, the six sons of Slanger, Omega Psi Phi fraternity, Austin Peay State University, Resolute Road Kappa chapter, so bros, happy 33 years in the frat, and let's see, other than that, uh, that's pretty much it, uh, I did want to do a little, um, a little COVID talk, just because it seems like it has gone away in lieu of everything that's going on with the economy, uh, the Russia-Ukraine battle, and, and food shortages. Well, it looks like we've got our first call, so we'll uh, we'll get to that later. Ray, welcome to Pharmacist on Call. Let me help you. Uh, yes, my dad is 87 years old. Yes, sir. And when he goes to sleep at night. He starts itching all over his head and his neck, and he said it feels like a uh, pin pricking him. Okay. And it's driving him crazy. And he's gone to the doctor, and, you know, they, they give him, tell him what kind of cream to put on it. Okay. But it's not working. And I was wondering if the doctor had any advice on that. Okay, well, let's ask a few questions first. Do you see any type of a rashes or marks or anything on your father? No, but when he starts itching on the back of his neck, it's like bumps or... Okay. You know... So you do see really something... A one rash, but it's, it's like... Hives. Like an allergic reaction or something on the back of his neck, but when he sleeps during the day, it de it doesn't happen. It just happens at night. Okay, what kind of nighttime medication is he taking, or supplements, or snack? Uh, I'm not really sure. Because it sounds like that he may have a trigger with something that he is consuming at night. So let's try this. Have you guys tried Benadryl? Yes, he takes, my mom gives him Benadryl, but it still don't help. Okay, uh, how far do, how far out do you live? How far away? Yeah, how, where do you live? What city are you calling from? Oh, man, I li I'm uh, calling from Gallatin, but he lives in Mount Julia. Okay, well, look, I'll tell you what. Stop by the pharmacy and get him a sample of this. And uh, we're going to rub it on the back of his neck and see if it kills that itching. So this is our eczema, psoriasis oil. Uh, I've had other people who've had the same complaint that you've had. Uh, they don't see anything, but they feel that same, they, they find that same sort of a condition going on. And this has worked for her. So I want to see if this will help your dad out some. But ask him in the okay. meantime what he's eating or taking at night that may potentially be triggering this. Well, he, 
He doesn't eat supper. I mean, he'll like have a bowl of ice cream or, you know, sweet stuff. But he eats breakfast and lunch. But then for dinner, it's all sweet. Hmm. Okay. Well, it sounds like he may be allergic to some of those sweets that he's eating. So let's try to narrow down what he's eating. I don't know if he has an issue with dairy or not. Um, that could be a potential issue. Um, but yeah, just stop by the pharmacy if you can. You're not too far from us. Gallatin, depending on where you are in the city, you can get to us in about 20, 25 minutes with good traffic. Uh, so stop by and ask about well, the exit. Well, he lives in Mount Julia. Ah, yeah, he's still about the same distance. Yeah, yeah, he can, he can pop on 40. Well, I'm not sure if he's driving, but he's still not too far from us. So if you guys pop in and get a sample of our eczema oil and then kind of get a list of what sweets he's eating uh, instead of eating supper, then we can kind of track down what the, the true cause is. Well, can you tell me what kind of cream that, that he can get? Oh, this, because I don't think anything else is working. This right here, our pharmacist blend skin and scalp soother. So he can use this in his head. He can use it on the back of his neck, on his arms, wherever this issue is taking place. So what's it called? Skin and scalp soother. So you can use soother? this. Soother? Yeah, S-O-O-T-H-E-R. You can use this from head to toe. So for those of you who have, uh, I guess, subarethic dermatitis in your head or cradle cap or dandruff, you can use this. Okay, skin and scalp. Soother. What was the last thing? Soother. How you spell it? S O O T H E R. I sure appreciate it. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you for the call. Thank you. Uh -huh, yes, sir. All righty, bye bye. Okay. Emma, welcome to Farm System Call. Let me help you. Hello, Dr. Pruitt. How you doing? I'm doing good, and how are you? All right, pretty good. How can we help you today? Well, I want to first uh, remind you that there is another April birthday. Okay, who we got? My grandmother, Janice. Yeah, I am terrible. I forgot. Yes, my youngest, my daughter. Yeah, so Jamie Sean Pruitt. Uh, yeah, well, I won't yeah. tell you when her birthday is, but yes, yeah, she's born towards the end of the month here, and she'll be uh, nine years old. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Thank and you for reminding me. Getting yeah. old. Getting old. Well, um, also, I wanted you to talk about the uh, the PCD or all of the. Uh, a thing that uh, it has been helping with. Can you do that? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All right. Okay. Yeah. I just want to be here. Thank you so much, Dr. Troy. Yes, ma'am. Feeling better and I'm very thankful. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma All right. You look nice tonight. Yeah, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. All right. All righty. Bye-bye. Uh, all right, everyone, that was my mother who had to call and remind me about my youngest child's birthday. Isn't that strange? Uh, so, yeah, uh, Jameez, sorry about that. You know, daddy's, uh, daddy's overwhelmed up here. All right, so uh, she asked about THC and all of the benefits that it, uh, you know, that it has. Uh, so, you know, it's part of uh, hemp. So hemp is probably 98% uh, CBD, but the other whatever percent... Uh, contain about 100 different other compounds. One of them is THC, tetrahydrocannabinol, uh, Delta 9 form to be exact. And what we use it for in the pharmacy practice, uh, we use it to uh, relax people. Uh, we use it to help with nausea because it does a good job uh, settling an upset stomach. It is great as a pain reliever. Uh, so even though you may have a CBD, THC free oil, it's even better when you add one with THC. Uh, so for those of you who are also dealing with um, uh, anxiety or depression, it will stimulate the, uh, the reuptake of your serotonin, well, in combination with CBD. And for those of you who have uh, issues with like uh, 
let's say bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, in very small amounts, THC in co combination with CBD uh, will help bring down that dopamine so that you don't stay up all night and, and having the racing thoughts and hearing the voices and all that. Uh, so THC has a, a variety of different uses. That, you know, people will ask, well, why don't I just smoke weed? Well, it's not the same because weed is high concentration of THC and hemp is low concentration of THC but high concentration of CBD. So the issue with THC in high amounts, it can cause paranoia. So I'm sure most of you smoke dope out there. You have friends that, hey, hey man, weed makes me paranoid. Well, that's because these people are already predisposed to having high amounts of dopamine being produced in the brain. And so it kind of gives them a de facto uh, paranoid schizophrenic, uh, bipolar type of disorder because it pushes up the dopamine that's already high anyway. So CBD and hemp, great for bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, anxiety, depression. Weed, not so much. It may give you a temporary, but it's actually gonna wind up making it worse. It looks like we're up on our first break here. You all stay right there. Keep those questions coming.